Hey guys, I'm here today uh, to show one of the typical alcohol stoves uh, that's all over the web on how to make them. This one is a rolled edge one I saw on uh, Extreme Intense Angler site. How to roll edge with a aluminum uh, Bud Light can. Um, but got the normal heat, uh, gas line, antifreeze, and water removal. And everyone shows videos on it, but I was thinking. In my state, um, I'm allowed to, or they sell Everclear 90% alcohol by volume, 190 proof grain alcohol. So I want to show you guys potential option of using this <clears throat> instead of heat on your uh, on your outdoor ventures. Um, this averages about 20 cents per ounce, while this averages 70 cents per ounce significantly more but um, if you're someone who likes to drink you can bring this with you in smaller containers um, <clears throat> to mix it with a, a potential drink if you're out there to keep yourself warm maybe sterilize stuff uh, it does caution says do not apply to open flame keep away from fire heat and open flame contents may ignite or explode do not consume in excess, qu excess quantities not intended for consumption unless mixed with non-alcoholic beverages. So uh, basically this is as pure as you can get. And uh, I just want to show you the timing of it, uh, the burn time and how long it takes to boil the water. I'm going to start with the heat first and then I'll go back and start with the Everclear and have it all timed. I just poured one ounce of heat alcohol in here. Let it, once it blooms, out the side, um, hit start. Um, I'll throw the pot on the top and see how long from there it takes to uh, bring two cups of water, uh, regular cold tap water, uh, to a boil. And I'll shut off the light. So it took about 40 seconds, 45 seconds to get to a full bloom and start at 50 seconds for the boil. I'm going to stop it momentarily so you don't have to watch the whole video. Last time I've tested this, it's about 5 minutes long and we'll let it continue boiling until the actual flame burns out. Alright guys, as you can see it's about 2 minutes, 17 seconds, so it's been maybe a minute and a half or so and uh, we just have small bubbles starting to form on the bottom and it's a nice nice flame underneath it's a seven, 750 milliliter um, MSR uh, pot stainless steel pot All right, we'll be back in a minute Guys, it's uh, been five minutes since the flame started, and as you can see, small bubbles are starting to rise and pop up to the top. At basically exactly five minutes. I consider this a rolling boil and we're at 6 minutes and 45 seconds so it took exactly 6 minutes for this to bring to a complete boil uh, that's one ounce of uh, heat 
that you see a lot of people use. I'm going to let this keep going until the flame actually burns out. You can probably start seeing the flame shrink. And it's out at 7.30. Alright guys, now I'll be resetting it using uh, 190 proof, 95% alcohol, Everclear. And seeing how that does. I just want to pour the alcohol, one ounce of Everclear in the alcohol stove. And we'll see how long it takes, and we'll time this. <clears throat> Just want to note, um, I cooled down the alcohol stove before starting this from the last one. And uh, I let the pot come to a room temperature before filling up with uh, cold tap water. And um, to try to make it as even as possible in this test. One thing I didn't notice, I think, is this Everclear has a more of an orange flame than a blue one compared to the heat. Alright, so basically a minute five, minute fifteen came out completely. So minute twenty, we'll say, for the start of the heating. We'll be back. Alright guys, we're at 4 minutes, 20 seconds, so it's been 3 minutes since this started putting the heat on. I don't know if you can see, you're starting to get some bubbles rising up on the side. Some little ones. Flame's still going good. And we'll be back. Alright guys, 5 minutes, 50 seconds, we're starting to get a boil. I'd consider that a rolling, rolling boil right now at 6 minutes and 10 seconds, so it was actually quicker by a minute and 10 seconds, I believe, than uh, Other one, no, actually, maybe it's only about 30 seconds faster. And let's put this down and watch how long the flame lasts. So Everclear for one liter 
costs about twenty-four dollars. While the heat costs about two dollars and seventy-five cents for twelve ounces. Um, if you want to do the math yourself to figure out, but like I said before, it's like twenty cents, twenty-three cents per ounce. While the Everclear is about seventy cents per ounce, and the flame's still going. Uh, Surpass the length of the alcohol, but it's about to burn out. And time. 8 minutes and 29 seconds for the length of one ounce to burn out of the Everclear. Um, put the videos up, and uh, I'll put the math in the comments of each one exactly. And hopefully this uh, helped out. Maybe you'll decide the benefit of cover taking a pure grain alcohol for you know, every everything's all about multiple purposes of an item. Obviously, you're not going to use gasoline heat, gasoline treatment heat uh, for cleaning wounds or sterilizing stuff. Or maybe if you're really frigid and you need to get something in your body to make your body feel warm. Believe me. This stuff you're not gonna be drinking pure. It's it smells like rubbing alcohol, but um, and it's even worse going down. I'm sure some people can t handle it, but myself I can't. But if you go over and cut it with something 50/50, you're still at you know 95 proof, which is pretty strong. Um, hopefully this helped, and uh, please leave comments and uh, please subscribe to my channel.